what's your favorite book? You've probably been asked that before, and if you're like me, you probably have had a few different answers over the years. This was my first favorite book when I was a little kid. You get to fly a jet plane, and you actually get to fly it, look. And you go through the scene and this day as you fly, that's way too close to that plane, but hey, is what it is. And then finally you land at the end of the day. And I do not understand this perspective. It looks like I'm still flying in or I'm in a very tall plane. But whatever, when I was a kid, it was fine. I loved it. I still do. It's a cool book. Fly around. But I got older and I moved on. And then I read this book as a teenager. Well, this one. And it was different from anything I knew about the Frankenstein story. And I think that was amazing for me to see that in a new perspective and see how deep it could be and maybe pretentious at times and maybe optimistic at times, but I needed that as a teenager and I love that book. And I said that was my favorite book for a long time, but honestly, this was probably my next favorite book that I read a few years after that. This is about a girl who loves baseball. I read it when I was older than the girl in this book, but I also love baseball and going for walks in the woods. And the horror of this book is real. She gets lost. She's in danger. There's animals around. She's hallucinating. She can't find food. People are looking for her and she doesn't know what's going on because again, she's been in the woods for a few days by herself. And that was real horror and real amazing, good book. That's a great review, but I love this book. But I got older and like anybody who starts on Stephen King, I continued on Stephen King to short stories, which is actually what I prefer to read. They're smaller and they get to the point quicker a lot of times. And this is my favorite collection of short stories and Dolan's Cadillac is a great story and The End of the Whole Mess is probably my favorite short story of all time never get a chance to read it. It's not super long. Uh, it was also adapted into a TNT movie, which you may be able to find somewhere. I'm not sure anymore. It's a great, great book. But I got older. And then I was given this book by my sister for my birthday or something like that. I can't remember. And I wasn't into Lord of the Rings, but then I watched the movies and I got into Lord of the Rings and I read the books watched the extended versions of the movies. I bought more Middle Earth books. And now this is probably what I say is my favorite book. I love reading it, the appendices especially, just to learn about the story. And it's great. But honestly, there's one book that I've had since around 1998 that's truly probably my favorite book. And that's this one. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Official Nintendo's Player Guide. Why this book? Because I have a long history with Ocarina of Time and getting this get player's guide, what's amazing about this one is that it's told in past tense. Link left the marketplace. When Link surfaced from the waters. The whole book is from the perspective that these are the events that happened. It's told as a history. The Gorons had mentioned how dark things. That was so great to me because I was like, oh, it's not just telling me what to do. It's telling me what I have done before I've done it. And I just love that. And I still love to revisit this book. I don't need it anymore. I know the game by heart. I've beaten the game plenty of times. But I have used this book to help me beat the game. And I have read this book when I didn't even want to play the game. Because I just wanted to hear the story. And it's an amazing book. So honestly, this is probably my favorite book of all time. Or maybe it's this one. Or maybe it's this one. Could be that one. Maybe it's that one. Uh, that one. I've never read these. Or maybe when I'm getting really nostalgic, it's this one. Which I can't sit there. So what's your favorite book? And if you're like me, is it actually a video game related 
book that no one would ever say is their favorite book unless they really thought about it? Maybe. Thanks for watching.